How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf and uh, today it's just a little bit of a quick simple video. Um, it's pretty bloody hot here at the minute so I feel pretty drained and tired. I didn't really want to do a massive long video but I did want to uh, at some point do a video um, saying whether these Land Rovers are kind of worth it or not. Um, I didn't want to say and do too much footage in this video because I want to do a review on both of these and then I'll be driving you know on like on Black River at the minute I'll go off up one of the mountains and stuff so I was just kind of messing around um, yeah with both vehicles really I've already kind of tested them out but just for the sake of it I went and got a little bit of footage tonight so um, yeah I just thought I'd give you a little idea of sort of more of a summary of what I think about them rather than like you know two 30 40 minute long videos um, I'll admit I do quite like them here's an example like this is the newer Defender it's got a longer wheelbase and I think the wheels are a bit too small so here's just an example of like a little cliff edge I try and climb up I can't get over because it's like the wheelbase is too long for the size of the tyres uh, came back in the Defender or I did this one first I can't remember which way around um, yeah this one seems to sit higher the wheels I can't remember if they're the same size or not but certainly the wheelbase and everything on this is just shorter and more compact so little things like that kind of uh, help make the difference um, yeah like I mean in general I was always doing this video is like are they worth buying or not it's a tough one to answer because it depends what the money means to you how much you're gonna play the game how much you like scouts how much you like Land Rovers you know all that sort of stuff if you're talking just in pure game terms you're not really missing anything whether you buy them or not we've already got scouts and to be fair for the most part I know obviously there's people who go off doing scouts for all sorts of reasons but if you were just talking from a pure game like performance standpoint there's generally even in a scouting situation you're mostly better off to take like there's a fair amount of trucks that can have um, roof racks and all that sort of stuff plus they got better add-ons on the back and uh, yeah they can just generally plow the way through terrain more efficiently but I will say these do feel like pretty nicely uh, balanced scouts. I think that was a little bit unlucky there. Um, yeah, and I'm not like it's. I don't want to say it's one of those like pay to win because it doesn't really feel like that. It's, so I don't want to criticise them for making the sort of thing I'm trying to say is like on the new map. These seem to travel better through certain muddy sections than just most of like the usual scouts. Um, but which kind of leans towards you know they've been purposely tuned to fit that map make them essentially more sellable and all the rest of it but at the same time I can't really criticize that because it's like what's the other option that you say right make sure everything's kind of shit just so it's not pay to win and again I don't really think it's pay to win situation in this game because you've got mods anyway which will eat all of this stuff for breakfast will at some point soon I should imagine have mod versions of these uh, if you obviously have to get the DLC though um, it floats by the way I just <laughs> let's double check um, yeah and the other thing is if they really wanted to go pay to win on it it's like the first things first is don't make scouts make trucks and not just like the GMC Brigadier nothing against it but you know make make big fat Russian trucks give us like some other version a little bit like the Dolphin a little bit like the Zix 605R a little bit like Tega Vorons um, yeah that would be instantly more desirable to just about everybody I would have thought so yeah in that sense I'm like it's good that they at least uh, kind of drive alright in certain situations as I'm driving now there's a couple of things I was going to say is one I've got the uh, like the special tyres on I mean, goddamn professional in the background. He was willing me back to my wheels, but yeah, <laughs> that was quite convenient. I did tip, um, but I did manage to roll back to my wheels. So certainly the weight distribution and all the rest of it sits quite low on this, which is uh, quite nice. For whatever reason, this is my favourite of the two Land Rovers. I won't strictly say it's outright better. There is, I, I kind of think off-roading and slower sections and all that, climbing rocks and bits and bobs, this is, I would say, better because, like I said, the other vehicles just—it's a four-door. It's got quite a long wheelbase, and the wheels are just far too small. They need to be more like another four or five inches. Would uh, be nice. <laughs> That's what she said, of course. Um, yeah, and so this one makes more sense for that. But I'd say when you're driving this one, like trying to go in a straight line, particularly at slightly higher speed, it, as you can see, it 
flops around a lot more, you're trying to correct it more. It's not insane, it's not as bad as like the Marshall was. But I've now put the chain tyres on it, and that's what I wanted to say. I'm, I like the fact that it's got cu its own custom tyres. The only thing I don't like is that you can get them in like the 31 inch or whatever it is, but you can't get them in the biggest tyre size, it might be 32 on this or whatever. Um, yeah, but other than that, you could see, as I was drifting out the yard with a chain on, it might even be because they're less grippy. Uh, sorry, it might even be the muds I've got on. Um, either way, they it may be because they're less grippy, but it resulted in less, like, particularly the front sort of biting in and making, you know, you're constantly having to opposite lock, steer left and right, trying to keep the thing in a straight line. It's It kind of smoothed it out a little bit by putting the muds on. And like I said, maybe, yeah, that is a a costing grip but it sort of doesn't matter it's almost in a way like the uh, the tires are behaving like they have too much grip with the special tires uh, but at the same time you'll see now not only I'm steering more but you end up getting into like a sort of a drift that you can't really get out of because it's just not got the back end gives out and that's it you just do like a at least a 180 or something um, this vehicle as you can see you have your little moments or whatever but it it's smoother in a straight line, so if you were travelling somewhere at faster distances, I'd take this one out of two. But you can see there again, the tyres are too small, I caught my chin on a bit of road where I certainly didn't with the other Land Rover. And this is the same situation again, I had the custom special tyres on there, now I've got, I believe it, was the, uh, it might be the muds, I don't think it was the chain. And you can just see there, it's a lot smoother, there's way less steering input now, I could practically be doing a one-handed rally special. And uh, I'd still be able to just like lean my thumb over and steer this really, for the most part anyway. Obviously you get a few situations that it's, you can get a little tank slapper going, but it's more, um, I don't know, sort of consistent in this. It can get a little bit snappy and too quick in the other Land Rover, again I think because of the smaller wheelbase. So yeah, that's sort of what I'd say roughly about both of them. Um, like I say, for whatever reason, I, I do kind of like them. Like. Again, money-wise, after I've had a little mess around with them, they'll probably sit in my garage gathering dust. So, it's a tough one to call out, right? But I can't, like, I'm kind of happy that I do officially have a Land Rover in the game, like, and it's nothing against mods, but I just mean it's officially in the game as in, you know, even if I couldn't connect to the internet, I should theoretically be able to play the game offline and all that, and, you know, I will I won't need access to mods. Um... But yeah, that's about it really. Like I say, you're not really gaining anything. If they added trucks, trucks are far more valuable, I would say, to us in this game in the long term. If you've just started the game, they'd certainly be, I'd say, more recommended at that point. Because it'd actually be pretty cool to start the game again, starting on Black River and that with, yeah, these two vehicles. Obviously, bear in mind though, um, you may not have all the engines and upgrades if you just started the game. I, I'll be honest, I don't know what I can and can't get, but obviously I've unlocked everything on this playthrough, so I, I get everything. Um, but yeah, that's about it for today. Like I said, it was a bit of a quick one, but I just wanted to sort of give an overview of uh, what I think of them. Like, they're cool, but don't worry if you don't want to get them, can't afford them, whatever, because you ain't missing out on a whole lot. But yeah, that's about it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Thanks for my Pedro members, because it's those guys that help me um, get like these vehicles, the DLC, and uh, yeah, I'll be back soon.